Um, okay, so I just finished the second episode and I'm very excited. I'm still loving the game. I think you can see my dog back there. Uh, and I'm sorry if this is laggy. I had to record it on a different computer because my regular computer for some reason isn't recording audio. So sorry, um, but I'll keep this short. So uh, the game is amazing. My favorite thing about it is the fact that what you decide to do really does change the story. It changes your interactions with people. It changes your action options. Uh, and I've, I've played other games that say they're going to be like that, um, but in the end, they're not. Like Heavy Rain, for example, I was really excited because it supposedly the decisions you made really changed things, but the ending was the same no matter what you did. And most of the time, even if you tried to go sort of against the grain, uh, you ended up being funneled down the same path anyway. But with this game, there's n very rarely is there a clear path that you're supposed to take or that the developers would want you to take. So you're really kind of making these decisions based on, you know, who you want your character to be and how you see yourself. Um, so I'm going to talk about some spoilers here. So if you haven't played episode two, please turn me off and I will see you in another couple hours. Okay, so the decisions I made, uh, the major ones, I sided with Kenny um, at the beginning and with, um, at the end, uh, with Kenny, uh, and killed L Lily's dad. I did that because uh, I don't trust Lily as much as I trust Kenny, and I wanted Kenny to be my friend, continue to be my friend. I've banked a lot of good decisions that he likes, right? Him and I have been together for longer. Um, and um, I didn't kill the brothers. Uh... There had been enough violence that day, plus I was worried that Clementine would see that and that would affect her relationship with me down the road. Um, at the end I did go against Lily and Clementine and I took the food for the group. Um, I did that because I had made a lot of decisions that I thought were upstanding decisions, but um, when it comes to the food that was there, uh, it seemed like we really needed it and people might have died if we didn't eat soon. Um, the only thing I don't understand about the cannibal family is it seemed like they had plenty of food. They had all those crops and they were making bread and stuff. So it seemed like it was really unnecessary that they were cannibals. Like it would have made sense for them to be cannibals if they didn't have like a farm with a bunch of food. So why would they, why would they start doing that if, as they claimed, they only did it for people who were hurt? And they didn't hurt anybody to be able to do it, which I don't believe. Um, they obviously hurt Mark. He just had a little shoulder injury, right? So, anyway, don't really, don't know about that, but I hope my decision to take the food in the end doesn't come back to haunt us. Um, but uh, that's about it, and I will check back in with you guys soon.